number four, probiotics don't survive to reach the gut alive. Now, it's an easy assumption to make, and one we get a lot, that probiotics don't survive the acidic conditions of the stomach, and so need to have a special coating or whatever, but this isn't exactly true. So a lot of well-researched probiotics survive the conditions of the stomach and do reach the gut. In fact, none of the 10 most researched probiotics worldwide use or need extras like enteric coating to survive stomach acidity. Now there is a lot to take in when it comes to probiotics, but instead of focusing on the mechanism or the capsule that it takes to go through the body, let's focus on the quality of the strains themselves. So it's worthwhile choosing strains which have been shown in research to get to the gut alive and kicking. Yeah, so there's two forms of research to test for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, just two. One, two. Good. One, two. So one is in a laboratory. The probiotic strains are subjected to various levels of stomach acid. Uh, for example, pH two, three, or four, uh, which stimulates the conditions of the probiotics will encounter in the stomach. So a wee dress rehearsal for them, really. Uh, yeah. And they get to put it to the test. Yes. Poor fellas. Oh, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, and this is preferable, is to have um, human digestive tracts. So people will take the probiotics and then stool samples will be analysed to see if the probiotics are still in there by the end of their journey. Love poo chat, we've not had that yet. It's my favourite. So basically, focus on which strains can make the long journey home and less on coatings and stuff. So do your research into the strains first. You're a strain on me. <laughs> <laughs>